G'day, it's John Willis here from Club Marine TV. What a bit of a blustery day up on the Broadwater, but I'm excited because we've got the first ever look of the new Riviera 505 SUV, taking it to the world. Well, I must say I'm a very lucky man because I've been in, uh, invited to come and see the first ever 505 SUV from Riviera Australia with Stephen Milne. How are you, mate? John, great to see you. Welcome aboard. Stephen, the concept of the SUV has been very successful for you, not only in Australia, but on the world market. It has indeed. What SUV means in automotive world is a, is a crossover vehicle. And in our world, it's a, this design is a crossover between a flybridge boat and a sport yacht. So she has a full flybridge, true blue water uh, offshore hull, but she's also got this beautiful one level living that a sport yacht has. Now this design, the new 505, takes that to an entirely new level with the mezzanine. So our senior designers have brought to, to this design not only big boat thinking, but they've maximised every square millimetre of space in the efforts to create a boat that is going to be a huge success globally because of its design and application to different markets. So in colder climate boating, you can enclose that whole mezzanine area uh, with clears and that extends the living. But then in warm climates like now, you can open up the sunroof here, open up these huge side windows and live out the back, uh, totally protected from the sun if you want to be. So it's a global boat and our designs are known for their offshore performance. They're, they're known for their ruggedness of design. Riviera builds the boater's boat. That is a boat that is reliable, comes with a five-year warranty on all of the Volvo systems and the Garmin system, a five-year structural warranty and a one-year limited warranty from Riviera. So the boats are highly well found and capable of crossing oceans. But the unique thing about this design is it's got all these great zones, entertaining zones, living zones, uh, from the foredeck lounge through to this lounge which can be informal or open up here and create a formal dining. We've got a casual lounge opposite and then we've got the mezzanine that has a day bed on the starboard side uh, that can convert to a, to, to a lovely double uh, with a lounge opposite and then flowing down into the cockpit which also then connects out into the large boarding platform. So there's so many different places to, to entertain and to hang out on this boat, it's, uh, it's absolutely unique. But, but you can actually confine yourselves to an area as well. If you wanted something a little bit more intimate, you can actually open the whole place right up if it's the party and it's just got enormous flow all the way through, or you can just lock down your segments and have that more intimate. Maybe if the weather comes away, lock yourself in and feel very secure, very safe. This is the perfect boat for two people to run from a size point of view um, with the joystick controls both at the helm and in the cockpit, uh, berthing coming alongside, rafting up. Um, she's just an easy boat to handle. But even the flow around it, again back to that flow scenario, the walk through across the front of the windscreen, you know when you are docking and having to move from side to side to get your lines. The storage, Stephen, is just enormous, as is the cool areas, the refrigeration, the freezers, the ice boxes, even the live bait tank. Fisherman's point of view, it's a terrific game fisher as well. So 2020 is a big year for Riviera, celebration of the 40 years, celebration of Australia's leading world-class motor yachts. We're very proud uh, of the role that we have in our industry in Australia and we're very proud and humbled by the response that our owners uh, give to us and the love they feel towards their Riviera motor yachts. I'm obviously downstairs in the 505 and uh, I, I must say I honestly think this is truly magnificent. I've seen a lot of boats but everything that this boat has combined in a 50 footer I call magnificent. The master stateroom's got everything you need. Plenty of storage, drawers, cabinets, wardrobes, the entertainment system, 
and the beautiful finishes, but mostly it's a general feel of space, comfort and luxury. Imagine waking up in the morning to this. The amount of accommodation in the 505 is just tremendous. We've obviously got this full-size master, but you've also got plenty of room for the crew and the guests and the kids, if that be the case as well, even including the twin bunks in the guest bedroom with plenty of room and plenty of storage. You've also got two complete bathrooms servicing this boat, one for the master, which is the full ensuite, with a walk-in robe as well, but upstairs we've also got another day head that services the guests and the VIP quarters. How about this for a beautiful VIP stateroom up in the bow as well, so it's got the full island bed, we've got plenty of entertainment system, plenty of storage, full hanging space in the wardrobes and immediate access into the ensuite. Check this out, 1450 horsepower of Volvo Brilliance. Here we go, already seven knots, 10 knots. On the move now, right up on the plane, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now we're moving, 22s, 24s, right through to a top speed here of 33 knots. Just heading back up the channel. Would you believe we're actually at cruise speed at about 2300 RPM? We're doing 28 knots cruise speed. It's just phenomenal, you can cover a lot of distance comfortably and safely and economically. Not to mention the fact, I can see all around it's 360 degree visibility, looking great. From bow to stern, the 505 SUV is one hell of a boat from Riviera. This one starts at around 1.6 million and there's a heap of options you can add from there. Love the boat, love the package, love the feel. This has been John Willis for Club Marine TV.